Sorry about that. How are you doing? Good, good. So, Zach, tell us who you play in the film. Uh, I play Skelgum in the film. Uh, he is a nomadic man from uh, Transylvania. There's a word to describe him that I don't use in on-camera videos, but um, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's really a representative of the people there. So it was really fun to, to do because, you know, getting to work in Europe and uh, in, a, in an accent, uh, it, was, it was really a fun, a fun gig. And he's, he's kind of a, someone who, uh, who knows a bit about the lore and what's going on to, uh, to Vlad as he's becoming Dracula and who kind of uh, tempts him a little bit um, with, uh, with some blood. So yeah, yeah, it's a really fun part. How does Vlad kind of change our perceptions of what a movie monster is? Well, you know, I think the, the Bram Stoker Dracula was always this tortured soul, and you had this idea that some sort of great tragedy had occurred to him in the past, and there was love that was lost. And so really what Dracula Untold is, is, is that telling of the man becoming the monster. So uh, in, I think in the way that it changes the idea of, uh, of what a monster is, it's, it's really showing you know, the humanity uh, behind it and maybe the reasons why someone might willingly do something like this uh, to protect one's family and one's people. It's a really, I mean, it's a really, it's a really touching tale. It's really a human story in that way. So if you could have one of Dracula's powers, which one would you, which one would you want? Oh, that is a hard question. Um, you know, if, if I could, I mean, if I could turn into bats and just like fly anywhere I wanted, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the coolest of them. Although maybe just being like as strong as a hundred people, that's probably pretty cool too. <laughs> yeah. How excited are you to be a part of, you know, a film that you know really represents one of the most enduring movie icons? Yeah, I mean, listen, as an actor, it's always a pleasure to get to work and to get to work on projects of this scope um, and of this history and this tradition. It's really amazing. Uh, it's it's a gift and. I just, uh, I'm glad to, to get to do this kind of work and uh, it's really a blessing and I hope to continue in the future. And talk about being here tonight and having the opportunity to experience this film in IMAX with an audience. Well, you know, it's funny. So, uh, I've, I've actually never, uh, I've never seen um, anything I've done in IMAX. So, that's a really big, exciting thing for me to see, one. And then also, uh, you know, I think it's, it's always awesome to see uh, a project you're involved with where so many people are excited about it because, uh, you know, as an artist, you, you remember the days when no one cared. So it's just really exciting to be here. And clearly there's a lot of, uh, a lot of excitement about Dracula because, you know, everyone, I mean, if you don't know Dracula, I don't know where you've been, but, um, you know, it's really, it's really a cool thing to be a part of. So I'm just excited to see it and, uh, and, uh, and hopefully like everyone likes my accent and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Take care. Thanks so much.